Okay, this is the test run for the Ziploc pouches. Just use the plain standard sticker in that case. Positioning is very accurately, you have a tolerance of about 1 millimeter. I recommend to position the machine on the edge of the table, so you actually have more space to fill, not just this small box. And also make sure that there is enough pressure on the top of the input hopper, please here. Just, just keep loading the input hopper, as you need to apply certain pressure so the bottom product can be pulled out below the other product. If there's not enough product in the input hopper, um, it will stop. You just continuously keep feeding the machine. As you can see here, the sticker is pretty much aligned above the other sticker. Maybe like a milli millimeter, and one and a half millimeter difference. But they're pretty much aligned right above, or they're pretty much right aligned right above the other sticker. These have already been labeled, these ran through twice now. And as you can see, you cannot see any lines or of overlapping, so the, there's really a very little tolerance, a very good ac accuracy of label positioning. Oh, make sure this doesn't happen because otherwise it can cause a jam which, which uh, goes all the way back to the, to the labeling pattern. Alright, thank you.